Hey there! In this video, we're going to install Kali Linux 2023.1 in a VirtualBox virtual machine on a Windows 10 host. If you don't have VirtualBox already installed, head over to virtualbox.org and download the latest version. Click the big blue banner icon over here. Then click on Windows Hosts link. Then save the file. I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip this step. You can pause the video, install it, and then resume once it's complete. Now let's go ahead and download Kali Linux. Head over to kali.org, click the download button, then click the Installer Images banner, and I'm running a 64-bit CPU, so I'm going to download the 64 version. If you have a 32-bit CPU, then you're going to download this version instead. One more thing, if you want to install all the tools that Kali comes with, then select the Everything version. I choose the recommended ISO image. Go ahead and download the desired version. I'm going to skip the download part, as I already have the ISO file. One final check you must do before we initiate the installation is to enable virtualization in your BIOS or UEFI system. To check if virtualization is enabled, press down Ctrl Shift Escape to open up Task Manager. Then go to Performance, and here you can see the virtualization label, and mine is enabled. If yours is disabled, then you must go to your UEFI or BIOS and enable it. Here is how it looks on my system. Yours may be different, of course. If you can't find the virtualization setting, make sure to consult your mother's board's manual. Alright, if you have virtualization enabled or you manage to enable it, let's finally configure the virtual machine and then install Kali Linux. Start up VirtualBox and click the new button. Choose a name for your operating system. Um, this will be used in any files such as configuration, hard disk, and snapshot. I'm going to name it Kali. Um, then you can select the folder where the virtual machine will be installed. I'll leave it as default. Then select your ISO file you just downloaded. And then click Next. Hardware is the next section where we can define how much RAM to use. The higher amount of RAM, the better the performance. Various tools inside Kali can use a lot of resources. In this example, I'm going with 6 GB of RAM. So that would be 6, 1, 4, 4 MB in binary. I would say you should go with something between 25% 50% of your maximum RAM and same goes for a CPU so I'm going to select 3 here one more thing um, Kali tends to be more efficient than Windows and allocating more resources will cause Windows to get sluggish alright so once you're ready click next virtual hard disk is the next screen as the name suggests, we can create a virtual hard disk. My SSD has a total of uh, two terabytes, and I'm okay with allocating 100 gigabytes for this virtual machine. We can also opt for not adding a virtual hard disk. But yeah, in this example, let's go with 100 gigabytes. Click next once you're ready. The final screen is a summary. If you made a mistake and you would like to change something, you can go back and do it. If you're okay with the setup, press finish. Awesome, the wizard is complete. Now let's select the virtual machine and then click settings. In general, then advanced, make sure you have share clipboard and drag and drop both to bi-directional. 
in system motherboard change the boot order so that the hard disk is on top and optical is a second and everything else should be disabled then in the processor tab enable the feature named PAE slash NX only if you're using 32-bit system if you're using a 64-bit leave it as disabled then in display the screen tab make sure the video memory is set to 128 megabytes also make sure that 3d acceleration is disabled as people have reported it causes issues all right then press ok and now our virtual machine settings looks like this now we are ready to install kali linux let's power up the virtual machine double click it or right click start and normal start and we should be greeted with Kali Linux screen boot soon exactly um, let's increase the size of this window so you can see it better all right this should be better select graphical install select your preferred language this will be used for both the setup process and also for the Kali Linux itself click continue now select your location I'm going to select Romania because I am based in Romania now select the localization I'm going with the US then select your keyboard layout mine is American English now Kali is installing stuff we have to wait a moment I'm going with uh, a default Kali name here click continue and my domain name I want it to be Neutron then continue my name is Carl so I'm going with Carl same for the username now make sure you pick up a password then continue go with guided use entire disk select your disk um, now depending on your needs you can choose to keep all your files in a single partition or to have separate partitions if you're not sure which one you want go with all files in one partition Now select finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Select yes. And now we are installing the base system. The installation will take several minutes, so I'm going to speed this up.
confirm to install the group bootloader. Then select the hard drive to install. Finally, click continue to reboot into your new Kali Linux installation. And congrats, you have now a working Kali Linux. Let's try and uh, make this uh, window look a bit better. Press down the right control on your keyboard and then C, and then switch, and once again control and C. And now this looks much better. Let's open the command line and uh, test our internet connection. Let's ping my website and indeed we have a working internet connection. Awesome. Alright, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, stick around this channel because I'll be creating more tutorials about Kali Linux. Have a wonderful rest of the day and see you next time.